Hello everyone and welcome to Sally and Bytes. Today, I am here to teach Relational Database and SQL, Part 6, How to Install MySQL on Your Windows System. So, let's dive in and get started. Let's learn how to download and install MySQL on your Windows system. To install MySQL on your Windows system, you can follow these steps. Step 1. Download MySQL installer for Windows. Go to the official MySQL website to download the MySQL installer for Windows. First step is to open any browser, type the link given here. Kindly check the link which is given in the description box below for easy access. When you open the link, you will directly land on this screen. Step 2. Select MySQL Installer for Windows Web Community Version. You can look at this screen. In Select Version, automatically 8.0.35 is selected and in Select Operating System, Microsoft Windows is selected. Now you have to click on the second download button for the MySQL installer for Windows. Next, you will land on this screen. There is no need to log in or sign up. Now just click, no thanks, just start my download. This will download an executable installer file to your computer. Now you have to save the file. As soon as you save the file, once the download is complete, you should see a file in the same location where you initiated the download. It might look like the one in the second picture on your screen. Locate the downloaded file. It's usually in your downloads folder or in the directory you specified during the download. Double click on the downloaded file. This action will start the installation process. Step 3. Run the installer. Locate the downloaded installer file, it should have a .exe extension, and double-click it to run the MySQL installer. You will get a screen like this seen on the screen. Finally you will get this screen. Step 4. Choose an installation type. Select server installation type. In the MySQL installer, you can choose the server installation type, which is suitable for setting up a MySQL database server. Click on Server only to select it. Left side of the screen, you can see the steps to follow for installation. Step 5. Select Products. Look at the left side of the screen. We are in Check Requirements. Next, you'll be presented with a list of MySQL products and features. For a basic server installation, you should select at least MySQL Server. You can also choose additional products or features based on your needs, but MySQL Server is the essential component. Here the requirement is Microsoft Visual C++. Next, click the Execute button. Now, you will receive this screen. Look at the left side of the screen. We are in check requirements. Step 6. Check for updates. The installer will check for updates to ensure you're installing the latest version of MySQL. If updates are available, you can choose to install them or proceed with the current version. Now, you have to click the checkbox to agree to the license terms and conditions. Then click Install button. The setup is successful now. Now click the close button. You will land up on this screen. Look at the left side of the screen. Installation. Now, look at the bottom right corner. Click Execute button. It automatically downloads and installs MySQL server. Step 7. Installation settings. From the previous screen, click Next button until you reach this screen. Again click Next button. From the previous screen, click Next button until you reach this screen. Step 8. Set the root password. During the installation, you will be prompted to set a password for the MySQL root user. 
This is an important step, so choose a strong and secure password and remember it. Again click Next button. Click on the Next button again. Now, we have come to the last step in installation. Apply configuration. First click the Execute button below. You can see the green check mark. The following steps are being executed. You can also see that initializing database may take a long time. Finally, you can see the green color check mark in all the configuration steps. You can also see the message given below as the configuration for MySQL Server 8.0.34 was successful. Click Finish to continue. Now, click the Finish button. Now, configuration is complete. Click the Next button. Step 9. Installation complete. Once the installation is complete, you will see a screen indicating that the installation procedure has been completed. You can then close the installer. Click the Finish button. Step 10. Start MySQL Server. MySQL Server should be automatically started as a Windows service. To access it, in the search index, type MySQL. Immediately, you will receive MySQL 8.0 command line client. You have now successfully installed MySQL Server on your Windows system. Remember to keep the root password secure, as it's essential for administering your MySQL Server. Now look at the screen. When you type MySQL and press Enter key, you will land on this screen. It will ask you to enter the password. Now enter the password, which you have entered at the time of installation. After entering the password, you get the display like this, seen on the screen. That means, you have now successfully installed MySQL Server on your Windows system. You can see a blinking cursor, where you can enter the SQL statements. We will be working with SQL statements in the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you are new to my Sally and Bites YouTube channel to stay updated with engaging content and never miss out on my latest videos. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and relatives. Watch the upcoming videos Relational Database and SQL, Part 7, SQL Commands, DDL Commands. Creating Databases, Opening Databases, Removing Databases, Creating a Table, Viewing a Table, Viewing a Table Structure, Alter Table Command, Drop Table Command. You can check the link in the description box given below.